Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. So today's video is going to be a back to school supplies haul. Before I start, I want to make a disclaimer. In no way, shape or form, I am bragging. Honestly, basically everything that I bought, you guys hopefully will buy too. It's just the essential the things that I need, like pens, pencil, book, erasers you know things like that it honestly why i am making this video is more for me rather than the people that are watching because it's actually been two years since i've ever posted a youtube video um if you did not know that i did post two videos one was with my neighbor and well it was my neighbor and the other one was me doing the same thing and why honestly I'm doing this is because what a, like a coincidence my bag that I got this year is basically the same thing just a few changes and I'll get into that more later about it but yes what a coincidence back then I got this bag and I started a YouTube video or a channel and then this year when I actually started one I got the same bag so I felt it was just right for me to do another video well a video about it and yeah like I said, in no way she performed. I am bragging. I don't think, well, I know, I don't have the video up anymore of what I did two years ago when I was in second farm. Well, I was going to second farm. If I'm not mistaken, I actually have that video in my computer because I edited it on my computer. Hopefully, it's still there. If it's not that cringy, would you guys want to see it? It's, I don't know, I, it was filmed in the worst quality ever. And it was filming my bed and you should have seen my setup like how I set my camera it was the worst honestly I was very proud of that video just because back then I did not really use social media as much as I do now because back then I did not have a phone I used my mom once or I just used my computer to go on Facebook which I really did not go in like every now and then so yeah I felt really like what is that word? I cannot think of a word that describe how I felt after realizing that I got over 200 views without advertising, you know, my video. Like like I said, I did not have social media. Well, I had, but I just was not into it as I was into it now. And I did not post about it. So after like an year, I went back because I kind of completely forgot about it I went in and I deleted it just because I was I think going back into third farm and I was not really into wanting to people to see me on YouTube like I want them to see me <laughs> so I deleted it I had over 200 views without advertising and I felt very good about it just because I don't know people found me honestly I did not have a lot of subscribers I probably still have that account up just not the video the other video I had up was with my friend like i said my neighbor i keep repeating myself i'm super sorry but that video was a challenge video um it was a bean bozo challenge at back then it was super popular and i honestly just wanted to try the whole thing i wanted to see if it actually tastes like how it said i filled mines and honestly it was the worst thing ever like you saw in the video i have not seen that video ever since i posted it just because it's weird for me to see it i feel like it's very cringy to watch so i do not watch it so should i do a reaction video of it honestly i edit the video it was my camera it was at my house and yeah so yeah it's been two years that i posted a youtube video so this has been something that i wanted to do so yeah let me stop talking i've been talking for five minutes hopefully it's not five minutes of me talking but no it's not even five minutes so if you guys want to know how i got no what i'm what <laughs> it's not a wake up video if you guys want to know what i have what is in my school bag kind of thingy you know what i got for school please keep watching so i came more back just because when i want to show you things i want it to be shown and not like you know not in frame so first thing first, what I will start with. I will be starting off with things that are not really school supplies. So first thing first, I got 
shoes for school when I have school spirit or things like that and I want to take a tennis and these are from Steve Madden uh, my aunt said it was just like he just took it out um, when she went to go buy it so she bought this it's noon I really like it it has like fishnet design and that's in style like they are these like I don't know what they call it but they're fishnet like leggings kind of thing that's in style if you see one of those anywhere please hit me up because I want one of those but yeah it's the one that you just slide your your foot in and it ties up but you really don't need to tie it up because it's you know going my school shoes these are from um Andrea and I actually like really like these ones because it's remind me of like tennis and stuff like that because it ties up and yeah I like plain shoes for school honestly I don't like when they have bows and things like that so I got two shoes nothing special just you know I already wore them like once already and you can never go wrong with black moon or white shoes so yeah I got black and then moon another thing that I got is this the chain is a cross it has blue diamonds in it am I YouTube enough for you my aunt bought this for me at Italy when she went so so now I'm gonna go into the school supplies Um, I got a 300 pack honestly I will end up having to buy another one because people keep asking Wait, it doesn't actually matter yes it still has the, what? <laughs> yes it still has the price <laughs> Yes, it still has the price in it. Um, it's five ninety five, and I bought a wide rule because I don't like college rule since it's smaller and I write pretty big and all over the place. And if I write big and in a little line, yeah, it won't look good. Next, so what I bought is a copy paper typing sheet. You always need this for some kind of like new project or. Since I have a printer, I need to print them. I also have color paper, but there is somewhere in a folder from last year. I just used like, what, like 10? And I bought like a little pack of it. So it's somewhere there, but I do have there for last year. I have few things from last year that I will carry on to this year just because like it's good. I won't buy another one if I have one that is good, you know. So now I will be getting into like the pens and pencil things. I have it in the box that I got my um, school shoes in and it's already tearing so Andrea mm -mm, I don't want you to sponsor me I'm just kidding don't sponsor me. so I have the um, school supplies in here all like you know in there also for school it's just a little purse a little lip purse it's from Victoria's Secret it's in like rose gold to match my phone my mom bought this for me my mom and my dad basically bought most of these like my tennis and then my bag my aunt bat and the chain but yeah for keeping my money in it like you know coins and things so that's cute uh, what should I start off with glue silicone glue you always need this and it's like this will last you a day because everyone uses it and everyone pours it in their hand and you know make balls in it I always do that also this is when I should not do this video because people are gonna know I have these things and people are like bring your silicone glue <laughs> and I'm like I don't have it. like yeah I saw your video girl that's the con of me having a YouTube but yeah silicone glue I like not the small one but the one above that and it's 195 yeah tape just because I don't know when you have like project you just sometimes you tape this ruler i think this was from two years ago also but then um i feel like the team is kind of yellowish because of the goldish colors so yeah this is like really old but i mean it still has numbers and it's still a ruler so i will use it honestly last year i had and sometimes i did not have and now that i like cleaned out my room and like everything that i had school supplies related i found like three other could you believe that? I'm gonna last it anyways and during the year. Staples. Um, I should have brought the um, stapler, but I have a stapler that I use here. Um, it's very, very old. It was for my grandpa. He had it. 
or it was for my dad. Basically, it was for them. And I think it's, if I'm not mistaken, it's over 20 or 30 years old and we still have it. That stapler is heavy duty. It's like very heavy and it's, it's old but it works like it's new. So that's why I have that. I have a mini one and usually mini staplers will just work perfectly fine with these kinds. Like, you know, regular staples. But nah, this one is very special. I think this was for my dad also. I'm not sure. This Empire. But these ones carry specific staples. And to be exact, number 10 staples. So, yeah. I had this last, but I found it back after school is done. Um, last year, team was like more black. If you were in my class, you'd see I um, covered all my books with black cover paper thingy. I liked it, honestly. I like black. So this was for my keys last year. It is um, black, obviously. But this year, I got yellow for because, like I said, I feel like the theme is kind of yellowish. And also, it matches my tie since my tie will be yellow. I have... Um, scissors. This was in a pack, but my mom wanted to open it because she wanted to try it. And yeah, black. So I bought sticky notes to be more organized. I always say that and I don't be organized. But um, I went to one to three, and there were sticky notes with lines on them. I was like, I need that in my life. But I already bought these. I'm like, really, I'm 60, and they're pastel, and it brings four highlighters to be organized. Um, these are not the highlighters that are shown in the video in my blog because the other one did not have this extra one. I bought this one at a &R, and these are 260 What are these? Cap erasers. I had this from two years ago and I still have them because I had like three or four pack of these. So I still have them and I'm still going to use them. An eraser, an Oxford eraser, 125 These are expensive. Two sharpeners, an orange one and a transparent one. I die for anything that is mirrored or transparent. Honestly, if you would, if you have me on Snap or you come to my house, you are gonna see like a lot of things. Well, my makeup area have mirrored and transparent kind of thing. I love these things. Mechanical pencils. Um, honestly, I don't really use these things. Well. I'm not a fan, but I like it, but I write very hard so it breaks a lot. But yeah, I bought these this year because when I saw it, it was like it just attracted me. I wanted it because it's gray and I feel like it looks very fancy. And then I decided I had the um, refills, so I had to get them. I got two pens, a black and a blue. Blue and a black. Um, after I realized I should have like bought another one like not maybe these kinds another one just to have like you know two an extra one and I should have bought that today I have these kind of pencils they came in a pack of five or six I don't remember but I bought this last year well last school year and they have three new one left so I will just cross it on to this year so yeah these are very good. You know when they're good when they don't have erasers at the top. I got some more um, pencils. I had this again from two years ago. I still have a lot of things because my aunt bought a pack of so many things. Like I had like probably four pack of pencils or five. I had a lot. I had like five pack of pencils. These are what remained and then that I bought last year. I had packs of pens, blue and black, and like I said, I had packs of these things. So I have these pens from last year, and if you are from my class, you would know about these pens, because you probably use them. So I just, they still work, so I'll cross it on again to this ear. There's another one. Markers, I have some Sharpie markers. But new ones, I have 
honestly I thought I bought like new markers because I have some already stored from like you know from a long time honestly I just bought this new one I had all of these already so I got that metallic markers because you can never go wrong with designing with those things one sharpie um, pen thingy marker pen sharpie permanent markers fine ultra fine point something that I really want is a pack of these things like a pack of these markers like the thin ones like the whole colorful thing of it and then a pack of these ones that's just my dream to own these markers in all colors I found this in my mom's workplace so I'm picking it and this is from paper made honestly anything from paper made like pens and things like that they're good clear um, markers and honestly markers or the pen I don't know but the thing is I like these how they write and things like that they are they feel better than the sharpie ones so imagine and they don't transfer I think sharpie ones tra transfer so I bought some imitation of the paper made I should have went to buy this today that's why I filmed today because I was gonna get more things but I did not do it these are similar to the paper made one um, these came in a pack of three and they had other colors they had I think green and the color I remember was a dark green but I bought these one to try out and they actually work perfectly fine I have no idea if they transfer but these are good to the borders and things like that on to my bag hopefully you can see it this is a bag that I had last two years well similar at first when my aunt bought it she was like it's different I'm like okay then because I saw in the um, website they had different ones when she came she showed me I'm like it's the same and then she told me she can go and change it but it's gonna take long since she lives way at um, Miami so it's gonna take long to come back so I'm like you know what it doesn't matter it's bad so then not so long ago at night I was like let me go check how much bag actually cost and I went and I went to find the like this design and turns out that it's actually the different bag than the bag I had last two years ago if I'm not mistaken the bag from last year the name of it was either toast something like toasted or burnt I have to check my video but if I slap it but it's different inside is different and the side is actually different and the color this is more like like how can I say it's more I feel like it has like a pinkish undertone to it like you know like rose gold it, this is actually named sparkle sparkly gold or sparkle gold and yes so this brand always bring a little monkey and you can see and here it writes laptop protection back to school Kipling did I say this bag was Kipling? I don't remember. It says here that it's lightweight, snug free zipper, durable, water bottle holder. They did not have this last year. And that's one of the things that really makes it different. And it says interior organization and water resistant. So yes, this bag is actually water resistant. The zip, you can feel that it's high quality zip. You know, it's not those kinds that will like stuck. And yeah, I actually like this bag a lot, won't lie. So I'm gonna show you what is in it because these are not everything, I have things in it. So in the front zipper, what I have in here, this is not the what's in my bag video. If you want, I can do one like during the school year and I'll show you like a real what's in my bag with all the garbage in it. You wanna see that? So in the first pocket right here, I have a planner. Um, I got this at Warpaint by the way. It was $20 and it's very small. Last year I had one. Honestly, it's still good. It's a 2018 and this start actually from July 2017. I don't know if you can see it but this is marble. I'll show a picture of it. The other one I had was um, maroon and gold. And it was bigger and I think it costs over $30 and it had more things they had like a section for write down 
to write down. I have a section to write down name and your phone number and email address and things like that. And the um, like at the front, it has like you know a big calendar with like the boxes all in like two pages, like all in like one here. But this, since it's smaller, it doesn't have all of that. It just had like an overview of 2018 and 2017. And then, all throughout the book, it has these kind of, you know, section. And I use these to write down my homework. To be more organized, I write down my homework. Like, I have my math page, whatever. I have an essay due. I have a project you on this so i have to do that and things like simple things like that i will write in here and honestly if you want to be more organized with things like that get yourself a planner and also um at the back has a little section for notes the other little section right here like the other pocket this has this little section hopefully you can see it, it says like for your phone section for your pen this pen actually it, it came with the the planner came in here but I cannot take it out because of my nails so I take it out and I put it in that little section so what I like about this bag also is because it has this little thing that you can keep your keys so like me sometimes I forget my ID and then I have my keys on my ID and so I cannot open my desk so I'm spare key and I leave it here at all times I honestly would put all my pens in here so I don't really have a bag specific for pens and pencils because at the end of the year I honestly don't have all pens all scattered in my bag. The other big little compartment I have is some books and some folders. So I have eight of the composition. I must get these kind because they are wide ruled as well. Like I said, I like wide rule, so I bought eight of them then I have a pack of six in here I bought a binder and I don't know why because every year I buy a binder and this year I don't know why I bought it like every year I know what I will use it for this year I just got it like my mom asked me what you will use this for I'm like I don't know <laughs> I don't know why I bought it but I will somehow use it during the year last thing are my folders I'll bring down my bag oh by the way before I go into that um, in the bag has three little compartments like it says a, la a laptop protector a little middle part and then another piece so it has three divisions I don't know why I only understand the back one which is for a laptop so I don't know why they have that someone please tell me so if you watch my vlog, you will notice this folder that I got. It's um, it's gold, white, and black little dots, and it's just a regular folder. So I got some camouflage one, um, the army green one, and then I got like a nude, goldish kind. More folders, and these are plain. I always get these ones, like this specific one, because I love black and it's plain. So I got a black, a gold that for some reason I feel like it shows, like it has a little green undertone to it. And then a gray slash silver folder, my favorite colors. Then they did not have these folders, the one that has little clips inside. At ENR, I do not remember if they had at People Store. I honestly did not check there for that. And then when I went to ENR, they did not have. So I was like, okay, probably more likely one to three have and one to three had it. When I was picking them, I just bought four. I picked each color and then afterwards I realized I'm like, oh, I got each color of my um, ties. So I got blue, green, red, and then yellow. Yellow is for my community service folder because we always need the folder to match like our tie. These ones have the little clips in it. So it's about two days later when I'm editing the, the video. I forgot to mention that my bag has this zipper, a small zipper that you can keep like in case for brand new. You can keep probably like coins and just some little things that beep just 
right there. What I actually forgot to mention also is the price. My aunt bought it at Basis for 124 US dollars. I am not sure if that was the actual price she paid for it. At the website, it shows that it was 124 US dollars. Then they brought it down at 80. So she probably we paid it for $80 I am not sure don't take my word for it and but yeah it said here that it's 124 so I am probably wrong That's everything in my school supplies haul um, like I said there's few things that I would have got more about like the markers like the little ones you know what I just remembered I have other markers from last year that I bought like end of the year so show that in the things that I will bring into this year but yes guys that's everything I have in my school supplies haul hopefully you guys really like this video if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe and I will catch you in another video bye guys